Hey guys, welcome back. <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt this video, but I didn't like the footage that I filmed for this intro, so I'm switching over to voiceover mode for a second. Really hope that you don't mind. Thank you for your patience. I love you so much. Anyway, today's video is all about self-love, but instead of putting on a bunch of face masks or getting my nails done, I thought it'd be more beneficial if I just took myself out on a date and spend some real quality time by myself. I got this idea from Ashley or Best Dressed here on YouTube. She made this video where she took herself to her favorite places and made dinner for herself and it was actually so nice and refreshing to see an act of self-love in a new, unique way. So that is exactly what I'm going to be doing today. It's going to be a good day. Well, for me at least, but I hope you enjoy watching. So I'm actually right outside of the first date activity that we're gonna do and I'm really excited because this is something that I've been wanting to do for so long now. Today, I'm gonna be trying flotation therapy. If you don't know what that is, I'll go more into detail about the benefits and the science behind it and all that, but basically it's where you're put into this pod filled with Epsom salt water, which causes your body to float. So you're in this pod secluded away from everything it's like silent and supposedly you're supposed to be like in the most relaxed state of mind that you could ever be in i'm really excited i'll try to film as much as i can for you guys but yeah let's go float <laughs> you'll float too you'll float too you'll float too <laughs> After my float, I came out feeling recharged and ready for the rest of the day. The spa actually offers a room for their clients to come in and blow dry their hair. They even offer hair products and lotion and hair ties to use whenever you want, which I thought was very thoughtful. As I mentioned, flotation therapy comes with many benefits. Here are just a few that I'm going to throw up on the screen for you. Flotation therapy is said to allow the mind and body to enter in its deepest state of relaxation. And in my case, for example, um, I found it very hard <laughs> to relax at first. I could not get out of my mind. But after reading the float notes that people left from previous experiences, a lot of them had the same experiences. A lot of them said that their first time it was very hard for them to concentrate and to focus on literally nothing, just not moving and staying still. But a lot of them actually had like out of body experiences and made them feel rejuvenated, youthful, happy, creative, healthy even, which I thought was so cool. So that was my experience. I would definitely love to try this again. Now that I know what I know, I feel like I could have a better experience. But overall, it was very relaxing. But I just don't think I was in the right headspace to go in there and fully enjoy the benefits of it. I'm loving my hair right now. It's like I'm just embracing who I am. <laughs> this big haired bitch. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's like we're a lion. So like we're feisty. I was planning on going home and making myself dinner. I was planning on making some shrimp alfredo because that sounds amazing. And it's one of my favorite foods, but I don't have the patience to cook a full on meal. In honor of treating myself, why put myself through the misery of having to go buy the food, having to wait to cook it? Why not just skip all of that, treat myself to one of my other favorite foods, which is sushi. I'm parked right outside of my favorite sushi restaurant right now. So I am going to go inside and it's gonna be a great time, so let's go. Don't mind, I might try 
and the poppers are indicators. What? What is all this? Can you get this for me? Oh yeah, wait. I did. <laughs> Okay, so obviously this is a really cheesy transition to show you what I'm going to be doing next. We have a little beautiful little note here. Let's see what it says. Hey Liz, Liz here. Express your creativity a little further by painting something on this canvas. Have fun. Also, there's wine in the fridge. Love, Liz. Okay, very cute, very cute. So clearly, I'm gonna be painting something today, which is why I have these colors in front of me and I set up my little air diffuser. I got it the other day and I'm like obsessed with it. I put in this essential oil that's called Joy and it's supposed to bring happiness, love, and joy into the room. That's nice. Also, here's my little Squidward painting. <laughs> oh my god. This was my latest creation right here. Bold and brass. So I'm gonna try to create something else. On camera for you. So these two photos are actually my inspiration. I originally wanted to get a tattoo of this, but I'm thinking maybe for right now at least, it'd be best to put it on canvas instead of on my body. But basically it symbolizes like the desert where I'm from, but instead of these little mountains or whatever canyons that are right here, I wanted to add these little windmills that are iconic where I'm from. There have been movies even shot at this location, so I feel like that really symbolizes home for me, so I kind of want to put something along the lines of this together today. I'm finally finished with my painting. It turned out pretty nice if I do say so myself. If you guys didn't realize what I was going for yet, the canvas itself is actually like supposed to be a Polaroid picture, which is why there's such a big space at the bottom and at the sides. I think my favorite part about this is this cactus and this cactus. I don't know what the hell this is. I'm very ashamed of it, don't look at it. <laughs> These windmills turned out low-key really ugly, but I mean, whatever. I'm not an artist, I'm not claiming to be, so this is it. I might go in later and add something at the bottom, maybe like Palm Springs or like Home or something like that. But right now I'm not too sure about what to write, so I'm gonna leave it blank. I might even go in later and add some more details, but for now, she's done. I look like I'm in heaven right here. <laughs> because the light is like shining so bright. But yeah, if you made it this far, thank you guys for watching. I had so much fun making this video and I really hope that you liked it as well. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below for new videos every single week. And as always, I love you very much and I will see you on the next one. Bye.